how rewarding was, of course, the experience coaching that team and the achievement you guys had? You know, there's no doubt it's a, it's a special honor uh, to represent our country. Uh, we, it's something we reminded the players of basically every day, even the group that tried out and didn't make it just to be in Colorado Springs to have the USA jersey, uh, a special privilege. And, um, you know, it was, it was interesting, 23 days, uh, a microcosm of a season, you know, that of uh, five months kind of all jammed in trying to get a group to play together. And, uh, you know, and it, I, I said it was amazing, unique, uh, you know, experience, but very, very stressful. And you're expected to win, um, you know, whether it's you're in this country or the people we're playing were all against us. They all want to beat you. We always got people's best shot, but uh, – it, it was it was it was cool. It was, and then to to get the gold medal, to you know hear the national anthem, to be up on that uh, medal stand, you know, is a it's definitely a moment I'll remember, uh, you know, for the rest of my life. And and there's no doubt. And I think the kids are bright. It's a it's funny. It's a unique bond that we had, and it wasn't easy. It was trying to get them to blend together. We had the young guys. We had the old guys. You know, they probably didn't like us sometimes, but um, at the end, you know, you see those guys down at Peach Jam or one of the tournaments last week, and there's just a, you, they just smile. They just look at you and, and know they, they were part of something special and accomplished, uh, you know, an important task. So it's, uh, um, I, I will tell you, I'm dead tired, exhausted. Uh, my wife will tell you I never say I'm tired, but, uh, you know, I just – I just told people at, at Peach Jam, please wake me up if you see me falling asleep. So, because it's uh, it was 26 hours back, we missed a, two nights of sleep, and uh, you know it's uh, it, it's still, but it was fun. And I think if you talk to Shane, Shane did a great job with, uh, you know, he had to help with all the prep, all the scouts, all the video, but he also because of his his age and you know he could hang with the players and I he really helped say the right things to the guys and uh, I think that was really positive for him and then was one of the yeah he Colorado. you know it, it it's hard it was really interesting I think and I've been on the committee it used to be they put everyone in a room and they call off the names and guys are crying and mad and every you know every go to this room if you got cut go to this room if you didn't but now USA basketball's i think they do a, a it's much better it's much prof more professional we call them in it took us you know we had to talk to 30 some guys um, you know each one we talked to them about their game um, and and what they needed to do and and you know just to get better to use the experience and um, you know, Dejuan, you know, he had a great start the first couple of days. You know, people didn't know him there. There's guys that a lot of the young guys had played USA basketball for many years. The older guys they saw on TV, those kind of like Dejuan, those middle guys that they didn't know. Uh, it was tough. He got some people excited. He was on the board early, but he, I don't, the whole thing probably just took a toll on him in the last couple of days, didn't get much done. And, you know, even as a coach, I, I had a little pull, but, you know, the, you got a committee, you got court coach, you got all these people and just couldn't get enough uh, behind him. I, you know, my only thing was, you know, if we, I wanted to make sure we had kids with good attitudes and wanted to be there and, and which it ended up being fine. But, uh, you know, I could have, you know, I would have been fine with keeping him, but I, I hope he'll tell you it was a great experience for him. I think he proved he could play it, you know, with the top kids in the country. And uh, one of the coaches on his exit interview said to him, uh, no one knew you when you got here two years from now, you'll probably be better than most of these guys. So I think that's a, a compliment to him. Yeah, I, there's no doubt. Yeah, it's, uh, I, you know, he had, I think you guys all probably saw this tip dunks and that, the, you know, some people, I mean, knows that athleticism, how hard he plays. He's a junkyard dog. He, And, he, and he's gotten better. He's done some things, but the, the continuous, you know, to produce every time, it's tough. And you're going against some, you know, some talented guys. You're going against older guys. And, uh, but, you know, I, there's no doubt it, it, it helped him. And, and he's come back here with a little more confidence. I, you know, I just hope he wasn't too mad at me, but, uh, you know, I think he's realized I've talked to his uncle and his family, you know, just, uh, you know, they, they, they're just appreciative that he was part of that. So he, you know, he's got it. He's got his practice gears, Jersey, his bag, all that stuff. He was part of a, of the USA basketball experience. So, you know, hopefully something he can, you know, fight for and be part of later in his life. 
Oh yeah, there's no doubt. Um, you know, I I only saw him a little bit last summer, and then you know when when I went to the gym and watched him at at, at Curry in the fall, you realized how I, you see kids, and then they get back with their high school, and they realize they get more confidence. That confidence built. He, and and you know I was like that first time I went to see him in in the high school in open gym. I, you know, it was somebody we wanted, and and now. Because he's a he's a hooper. He loves the game. He's worked on his shot. Um, uh, you know, two years ago he probably didn't make threes at all. Now he'll he'll make threes. He he makes plays. Um, you know, I, I think he can give you. I don't think he's a pure point, but he can give you a little point play. He can give you a little two. He can give you that three, uh, that athleticism. So he uh, he can give you a lot of versatility, and and he, and he loves to play. He's always every. All the days I'd be here, he's always saying, open gym, open gym. And, you know, it's like he's the guy that wants to, to be in the gym. What lessons can you take from the USA experience and use with this team now? Um, you know, I, I I think I, you know, things, it just kind of backed up what I believe in, that if you get guys, um, our first thing, our whole thing, USA Basketball talked about, I talked to Jeff Van Gundy, I talked to Mark Few, Ed Cooley, uh, Sean Miller, you know, all the guys that I coached before, was toughness, IQ, and defense. And, you know, you, you can't – those other teams have been together. They're running plays and, you know, flares into down screens and all this stuff. And, and, and we just had to overcome all that, the lack of being together with, with that toughness and, and togetherness. And, and I, I think I, once we got them to believe in that, um, and then when we got them to pass – um, we were really good. Uh, you know, we I think what was 100 to 100, we averaged about 100 and gave up 72. And, and that was consistent. Even the games we played in Colorado Springs, we scored about the same. Um, you know, so they, they again, you, you buy in. Uh, you know, you get them to play together. You enjoy each other. Uh, probably the best thing we did, USA Basketball, we let us, we had an off day. We went to the beach. They got to go tubing. Um, they had a blast. It, it, it really was a, a kind of a coming together moment for our guys and, and especially the young guys versus the young guys, you know, they're all on a draft list. It's to me, it's unbelievable. There's draft lists for juniors in high school, but you know, the older guys were the guys that have been through it. And, you know, those little things, they got this, go see Spider-Man in Greece, you know, little things like that brought them together. So I think just more than anything kind of backed up what we do here and how we do it, and um, you know, it was it was it was fun experience. Very 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 unique and very rewarding. There's no doubt. How much of an impact do you think the new international three point line will have? And did your opinion change any? Uh, we did not shoot very well. If you look at the stats, it's it's not very good. And even the international teams didn't shoot well, uh, which kind of surprised me because that was that was my biggest fear. Could we you know deal with the threes? And you know, I hope some of it was our defense. We got to them pretty quick, uh, but it. I thought it really affected the younger high school guys. As Tyrese Halberton, you know, it's nine inches. He's still making them. Um, what do he make? Fifty-eight percent or something. But those high school guys, and I watched them play in some of the events this weekend. And and all of a sudden they're making threes, and they shot fifteen percent. One guy made six. I don't think he made six in the whole you know whole time we were together. So. Um, it, it'll be interesting. I, I think it does spread the court, which is, I think, the main object uh, of, of it, you know, to give more spacing, allow driving, hopefully hopefully more scoring. Um, you know, so, it, it, you know, we – and that was something we talked a lot about, you know, creating long closeouts with the space. Now being able to use your athleticism, getting by – and, and making the right plays, whether you're getting to the basket or kicking it for that, that better shot. So, um, you know, it, 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 I, I, if it's the indication from what we had, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a little worried, to be honest, from, from the way we shot the basketball. Where are Mike and David at right now? Uh, Mike broke his finger yesterday, and it was somebody just hit it wrong. Uh, he kept playing a couple plays, and then he, he said, Coach, this hurts. And, Luke grabbed him, got an X-ray. Um, he'll be, you know, he's going to be out four weeks. And I and I hate anything happened, but the timing is is okay. We're gone. You know, they got two more weeks here, a week and a half, and uh, you know, so he can go home. When he comes back, he should be fine. And you know, when we get going in late August, early September, 
you know, and, and he doesn't need surgery. It's just a clean little f fracture and no displacement. Uh, David, uh, you know, he's got the, the cast off. He's got just a splint. He's starting to do some conditioning, some uh, road work, just running, all that stuff, all the different things they do. Uh, our goal, almost the same timing as, uh, as Mike, probably end of August, uh, getting into live basketball stuff, and then, and then you know, get going in September. I, I hope at least. So um, his is a, it was a very delicate, sensitive surgery. It's that bone that doesn't heal. Um, and we just got to hope that, uh, you know, that, that surgeon knew what he was doing and, and got it done right so he doesn't have to go back again. Is there anything that really surprised you about the whole being with the experience? Um, you know, it, just to be out there with all teams from all over the world and and you know i think how much they respect our basketball and you know we in our hotel was russia and senegal but you know we were in a little village a little community so you'd be walking the france coach would be there then you're talking to lithuanian you know and and um, they, they all love basketball they all want to talk basketball uh you know i think that that was cool to be part of it but they all wanted to beat us and uh, the, even the, the crowds were against us. Uh, not, you know, a horrible anything, but they, you know, they wanted to beat the Americans. And I think that added a little stress to that. So, uh, but it was, it, it was, it was interesting. It was very unique. And uh, the assistants did a great job, that part of it. Coming together, getting to know these guys, the assistants, the players, uh, people that were with us. I think it'll be uh, a special bond that you have for, for a long, long time. What are the skills that Monty and Antonio offer to that, that four spot? Well, they, versatility, there's no doubt. Uh, are they threes? Probably not right now, but they do things threes can do. Uh, you know, they you know, they both have good size, good length for somebody. They can, uh, you know, I think they can spread the defense. Monte's, you know, did an unbelievable job of improving his three-point shooting. If you look at his stats last year, that's what. That's all they did as a team. They shot 30, 40 a game, and uh, you know he was part of that. So that I think it really helped him. Um, he his coach did a great job with dribble drive, so he understands the concept of getting getting to those open spots, shooting a three. If they get that long closeout, attacking, making the next play. Uh, Antonio, you know he he just loves to score. You know now we're gonna have to calm his shot selection down a little bit, but. And I think the other thing they can they can guard a lot of spots. They can both really move their feet. Uh, you know, we'll be able to switch ball screens, uh, which which will help. There's no doubt. Uh, they, you know, all three of them. I know they wanted Fourth of July break. They needed it, and they weren't here. It was only three weeks, and you know, I said, "How you feel?" And they said, "Every part of my body hurts." They had, you know, they had never lifted weights like this, and. Um, you know they were they were ready, and I'm sure they'll be ready to go home in August. But this, you know, I've always said it's the best thing the NCA does. It's a dress rehearsal. You get a couple classes. You get to be here. You get to go through this. Get to go home, relax, and then now you come back and and hopefully you're much more ready to go and get ready for the season. If you look at our calendar, we only have one month. We start school the 26th. We start practice September 25th, and uh, you know we'll be at it. Then a month later, we're playing an exhibition game, so it's it'll come very quickly, and and we're gonna you know we're gonna obviously depend on uh, Xavier, Cardi, Mac, you know Pearson, those older guys, and Mike have been through it, Sean, but those young guys, if we're gonna be good, they got They got to give us something, and they got to contribute. Uh, when you talk about uh, the USA basketball thing, and I talk so much about what NBA guys talk about, are you gonna be a role player? Are you, will you accept being a role player? And all of a sudden, these guys are the stars. And, you know, we told them, you're not going to average more than 20 minutes a game. You're not going to average more than 12 points a game. Uh, we had nine guys average uh, eight or above. And, and I, you know, and that's, that's to me, it was, a, you know, part of our, our success. And, you know, it's the same thing with us. If, you know, that depth that we have is, is, is got to, it's got to come forth if we're going to be, be successful. What things did they want? Really need to lock in on. I, he's he's loose. He just kind of goes. He's a hooper. He plays. He you know little things are not 
important and it's good so it's like i don't want them thinking and getting you know real tight but i want him to think about things a little bit and uh, you know he's really good in transition he's a good offensive rebound he does basketball instinctive things that a lot of our other guys you drive at him he's going back door you know he'll you know he's getting out at that break and making plays he's getting those tip dunks uh you know things that a lot of guys don't do but the refined part of the game the you know the cat you know getting shot ready being ready to shoot things like that are things he's got to improve but he wants to do it and he's always in here i i bet every time i called him from greece uh he said, I'm in the gym, coach. You know, he, 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 he was always in here working at it. He, there's no, no doubt he wants to get better. Really, all the, all the young guys really like to play. Have you seen what you wanted to out of uh, Shawnee Williams? As far as I'd, you know, I'd like him to take another step, you know, and, and, you know, he could be an important part of it. He showed glimmers last year. Um, you know, just he's got to be a little tougher, a little more consistent. And if, if he can give us that, he, you know, he got, he's a little bigger guard than, than David is. You know, he could give us a little two, give us a little depth with a point guard combo stuff. Uh, so I, but I'd like him to take a, an, another step. How have you seen guys like Xavier and Cardi so far take ownership of more leadership? I think they've, you know, I think there's no doubt they realize, you know, and Xavier was in a tough situation. You know, he kept his name in a long time. Um, it was that last night. I mean, when you guys heard, I heard. I heard about an hour before that. But I thought he was coming back because I had talked to mom and 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 you know his family. But uh, you know, we, so then all of a sudden he had to come back here and and you know re kind of get his thoughts on it. You know, having a great senior year and being a leader. I think it took him a little bit. He was tired. Uh, he had had a long stretch of being you know, working out, but I, I, he's done a great job of really being a great role model. I think Cardi's starting to understand how important it is. Uh, Mac just does it by by his uh, his play, his actions. I would love him to talk a little bit more. Pearson's been really good about being a leader, and um, so I, I feel good about him. The thing I'm trying to convince them, before they could be inconsistent, and you still had Barry, Dean, and Cam. Now... They're the ones that got to be consistent all the time, and uh, you know that that that's so so important that because they're going to look to them, and when things go bad, they're the ones that going to have to step up and give us the consistent play like Barry did. That's why we were what we were. Barry, Dean, Cam, you always knew you could get something out of them. To that point, are those conversations that you feel like you need to have with those guys? I constantly talk to them about it. I mean, yesterday at the end of practice. Um, Talked about consistency. This is your job. You can't take a day off, you know, and, and everyone, even Barry had, you know, bad days. I mean, that's life. But if you're doing that all the time, we're going to, we're going to fail and you're going to fail. And, and I, I think they know it. They've, they've taken it on, uh, that role of being a leader. You know, we'll see when we hit a little adversity as the season goes on, um, how they deal with it. And, uh, cause it's, it's, it's like coaching USA basketball. It, Every night was a relief when we won. I, I promise you. So it's it that stress is on your shoulders, um, and and it's going to be on their shoulders. And I don't want it to be something. I hope they embrace it and want it, and you know help them help them be prepared and help their teammates be prepared and be a great examples of what what needs to be done on a daily basis. I think he'll expand it. He he'd really love to expand it, but. And then we're going to let him shoot more. And I told when he got here, he didn't want to play in the post. We said, you know, this is where you can be successful. He, he, I would, if he's not the strongest in college basketball, he's one of the strongest. Um, so he's got to use that. But he can also go out on the court. And, we'll, you know, because before it was Dean out there, he went out there, we did, you know, it was, there was, you know, we didn't, we had too many people in the wrong places. Uh, so now he can go out. And now can Levi, James, Nigel help us a little more inside? Uh, and that's something we'll have to see. Is there an update on the last scholarship that you guys have open? We're still open ears, you know, listening, see what happens. Um, you know, we'll, you know, we'd, we'd still like somebody if, if it popped up. But, uh, you know, we, we talk about it every day and, and try to, 
keep, you know, the coaches are always talking to national guys. Is there a reclass? Is there a, you know, somebody transfers last second, something happens. So we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, uh, you know, those GMs in the NBA make last minute deals. Maybe we'll, <laughs> we'll find a last minute deal here at the end. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, it would be nice. You had a, another body, there's no doubt. Is there a date, like, in your head where you think it's more valuable to have that scholarship to use in a full? Well, oh, I, I think once one school year. starts, it, yeah. you know, you're probably not going to get anybody. But, uh, and, it, you know, it, it obviously, uh, you know, you got you have Pearson here. It's been really, really so valuable. And I probably haven't talked about how much, and, you know, David's down, uh Mike's down, you know, it, it, Pearson's there every day. And if we wouldn't have him, uh, and he's smart, and he's gotten stronger where he can compete. And, um, you know, so we really feel good about, you know, having him and, and be part of it. We've been very fortunate. We had a Joey as a walk-on, um, you know, he's a young guy that played junior college basketball. He's still got a lot to learn, and but he's, uh, he's really trying to fit in um, and do a nice job, I think. Give him a year or so, he he'll be very competitive with our group. Uh, Coach, you want to talk about the TPT guys having a back around and what they have coming up? Um, you know, it's 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 always great to have those guys back. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, you know, DJ's kind of taking over the GM role, and they got a little board of directors, I guess. But uh, you know, they you know they love coming back. They love to be part of it. Uh, you know, we're. We're going to, they, some of them were involved in open gym yesterday. We're going to have them part of our workouts and, and they'll play open gym here the next week as they prepare. So, uh, it's, it's great for our guys to go against older guys, to have a break at different, you know, see different faces. And it's always good to have those guys back. And, you know, they, they love K-State. Thomas Gibson, you know, he's so proud of it and happy to be back. DJ, all the, you know, all of them, you know, Martavius is always here, it seems like. So, um, you know, it's it's not, but, you know, you even saw then, you know, Nino shows up. He's not playing, but, you know, that that's a, you know, a unique group that was, you know, really together. Um, you know, and I, it's, you know, Shane feels like he's part of it. He, I know he's got it, he's part of our staff, but, you uh, you know, he feels, you know, it's always good for him to be part. His brothers are back, and so it's fun. You know, couldn't be more proud of Rodney Magruder. Three-year deal. Wes getting another uh, thing. That was when all that happened and when we were in Greece, and it was exciting to to watch that and see, you know, see that they get rewarded for hard work and uh, feel pretty good. We tell Xavier, you know, that three-man's been all right. Rodney, Wes. Now him, hopefully, you know, he can be the next one that has an opportunity to play play in the league and get – I think he'll have that opportunity next year. Uh, it was great to see Dean get a deal. I was uh, very – I don't know, surprised, disappointed. Um, I thought he might get drafted. I know his feet are an issue. All the NBA – I was – they were all in Colorado Springs. They were all in – of course, they were all in Greece because it was a, on an island and – they could go to the beach and go to games that night. But, uh, uh, you know, a lot of them talked about they just worried about his health. And so, you know, Dean's got a great opportunity in front of him. Coach Beeline loves him. Uh, you know, so hopefully uh, he he will be up to the task and prove people wrong. Uh, we had a young man at Purdue, Brad Miller, did not get drafted. And he played 11, 12 years in the league, made all-star team. He was, uh, you know, a, a, a USA basketball player. Uh, can't participate. He he uh, made I don't know how many hundred million or whatever. So you know it's he can be a great story, and I hope he is. Obviously Barry just got to kind of wait and see. I thought he had a a good camp. He finally I thought two of those last three games he really stepped up. He was plus twenty on the plus minus. Got him back in the game the other night, and he just got to get the right opportunity. I, I I still think he'll be like Rodney. He will will himself into the league and uh, get a lot of good feedback about him. Uh, we got one of my guys from Illinois on the Timberwolf staff, and they just loved him, you know, because he comes every day. He picks up things. He wants to do well. He'll do anything. So uh, hope for the best for him. I talked to Cam uh, Kamal today, and um, I think he'll, you know, he's got a couple offers in Europe, so hopefully he'll have that opportunity to play. Also, they all want to play, but sooner or later you got to grow up and get a real job. But we'll see. Uh, just 
real quick on Xavier at the three. How stringent is that plan to keep him there as opposed to? I, you know, I'd obviously I'd like to keep him there uh, as as much as possible. Um, there's going to be some times at end of games or something defensively. You, you know, you're going to put your best lineup to stop people. And, and if you, I don't know if you notice his body, it's he's just taking it to a whole nother level. He was he was always gifted and strong, but uh, you know you see that in him. So uh, you know it, it. Obviously, a lot depends on on Mike, Dejuan, Monte, uh, Antonio, Levi. You know how we can play, but I, 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 you know I. My goal is hope is that you know he can be that three. You know probably ninety ninety five percent of the time.